Hey, it's Danny's Cam here. I noticed some of my videos have gotten popular. And I was like, wow, I haven't really made videos in a really long time. <laughs> and it appears my how-to videos are getting viral or something. I don't know. And I was like, wow, I should make more videos. So I thought I'd give you guys like a little update. Um, this is my life now. Um, the most important thing to me is raising my child. This is my baby. Say hi. Say hi to Cameron. That's her. Hopefully I got that in focus. But, um, yeah. I mostly work within two miles of home now. No more traveling to Massachusetts to be a carpenter. Um, I do the saw milling. And that's two miles up the road from my little cottage. And that's at the family farm. And that's one way I make money. And another way is equipment sales. I buy and sell equipment. I've had a couple of people find my YouTube videos and then find me on Facebook trying to get me to work on equipment. And... My big thing is, you're never going to get rich working for someone else. So, I choose to buy machines that are really wrecked. I'm working on one that's just destroyed. And put them back together and then sell them. Um, I call it investing in myself. I spent years of my life making other people money. You know what I'm saying? Um, from being a foreman in a construction company, doing, you know... $80,000 jobs if not more and the boss never had to come to the, the site it was me dealing with HR problems dealing with workers that quit you know and I get a small percentage of that you know so I, I made plenty of people you know not millionaires but hundred thousand heirs you know now I just need to invest in myself but uh I figured I'd start doing more videos you know I, uh, I tend to do a lot of things. I, I have a little bit of ADHD, so I jump around. Um, you can tell how I talk. I, I, I can't stay on subject. Uh, that's why I'm working on like four bobcats at once. You know? Well, you kind of be like that because you're, you're waiting on parts on some of them and stuff like that. So, yeah, I figured I'd start get, getting back into YouTube again and uh, kind of give you all an update. You know, I'm engaged right now. Uh, the wedding... Uh, it's planned for September or something. So that's exciting. Um, what else? Go, go, go. I'm not going fast enough. Um, I kind of take a back seat to work a little bit. And I try to focus on raising my baby. So when my wife or my fiance works, I take care of the baby. And uh, she works kind of vice versa. And uh, it's worked out so far. You know, you know I, I do feel like I miss out sometimes. But most important thing is this child <laughs> raising her <laughs> but yeah so yeah I've been exercising trying to lose a little weight for the, the wedding and uh, get in good shape but uh, yeah coming up to my house now <laughs> last house on the left <laughs> maybe I should show people my, where I live <laughs> but, uh, oh gosh my house looks like a junkyard um, I got projects everywhere you know, I don't believe in grass. Grass doesn't make me money. Uh, yard full of parts does. Um, I've gotten into selling attachments. I buy and sell uh, bobcat attachments. Mostly I get them from scrap yards. And uh, half the time they need a little welding. But you can get a bucket for scrap value and then sell it for 600 You know, if it's bobcat brand. But uh, kind of, I wish I could turn the camera around. It's on a cell phone. I'm filming on a cell phone. I don't have really great internet. But uh, there's a the bobcat bucket. There's my postal Jeep project. Oh, baby. Here we go. Oh, gosh. There's a start stick. I use that on diesel engines. Yeah. Garden area. Here we go, baby. Wee. This is the uh, bachelor pad. That got pretty cheap. Yeah, my yard is a mess. Hey, I'm doing a video. So, yeah, that was the fiance. And, uh, show you what I'm working on right now Bobcats. So, those are engines. It's a V1702 that would go in a 740 series. I got that one, I got that one, and at the farm, I got a Mini X I'm working on, and also another 743. I just picked up this T190 cheap. Um, 
this is not my mainstay T190, but I've been having to replace every sensor on it. Basically, it was neglected for years. This one I've just completed welding and refabricating the purchase. This was part of an insurance job. I actually bought this from a scrap yard or a third party. And uh, I pay finder's fees. So I tell guys, find me equipment. I'll buy it. So yeah, I'm replacing basically every hose on it. Um, that's a parts machine I've been pulling parts off of. This thing is definitely, it runs and operates though. <laughs> it needs a lot of work though. But I'll get it running. It's a case, 743. There's a stump grinder I'm working on right now. Um, I got this pretty cheap. Uh, it's a veneer, uh, 630A. Yep, engine looks good. I haven't actually fired it up yet. There's a LS from LS Swap. There's a uh, V V2003 out of a reefer. That's probably going to go into a Bobcat as soon as I unseize those injectors. But yeah, this is just kind of my little, my backyard garage, which is basically a carport wrapped in rough cut lumber because I do sawmilling. And uh, yeah, it's where I make my money. In my backyard behind the house, you know. Just kind of how I live my life. Baby's like, what are you, did you leave me? I didn't leave you, baby. I saw we. You the baby. You the baby. This is the reason why I work so hard. Nah, I worked hard before. Yeah. Say it. <laughs> but yeah. So I thought I'd do a little short video. Can I tell you what I got going on? Got a lot of irons in the fire, but I want to reconnect with my YouTube audience. Try to anyway. So good to see you guys. I did an engine swap with my buddy, um, oh, what's his name? Midnight Motorsports. Or as I know him as Jimmy Lyle. I think he's working on that video. I need to work on my end of it. I haven't. Yeah. But yeah, that's my life now. Exercising. <laughs> Sometimes working. Sometimes just collecting junk. <laughs> yeah. But uh yeah. It's a fun existence. It's a lot better than having to work for someone. Like I used to. You know. It's a lot better than having to make someone else rich. You know, invest in yourself. Quit your job. That's what I say. <laughs>